Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack, and welcome to another Overwatch video, and it's been a week since the year of the Rooster event happened for Overwatch, so we've had enough time to play the event, we've had enough time to play the game mode, we saw the skins, we saw everything that came with this event, let's give it a proper review. Now, I won't go in depth with every single skin that was in this event, I won't go too in depth, I just wanted to summarize the three things that did come with this event, which was the remake of Legion Tower, which wasn't that big of a thing, uh, to every single skin that was made for the heroes, or lack of the the heroes which is going to be a key thing I did want to talk about and three the game mode which was capture the rooster which once again before I even say anything a curveball of a game mode a curveball an event thing that did happen for this event that blizzard just once again takes the cake for surprise surprise for different events so first let's talk about this skin because this is some of the big stuff that people really did care about when people hear about a new event the first well at least for me I'm sure there are some people that worry about the events and the remix of the map but the first thing for for me that I worry about is who's getting a skin, who's going to be the face of events, who's going to be getting the highlight intros, just stuff like that. And for this event, man, they killed it with the skins. Now, I might be a little biased. I'm not going to lie. I might be a little biased because May did get two skins, which were just fantastic, even though they were just two weak colors uh, of each other. But still, they looked fantastic. So the skin department, I feel like there was a lot of awesome, really detailed skins uh, related to this event. With the Winter Wonderland skins and the Winter Wonderland events, a lot of people complained like, oh, look at this May skin. It's just a recall and she has a hat. Oh, look at this Lucio skin. It's just pretty much she he has a hat. So a lot of people complained about the Winter Wonderland skin. So I feel like they made it up with this event because they can give a lot of people really detailed skin. The Zenyatta, Winston, Roadhog, just all those kinds of heroes in this game have very distinct and re Chinese related skins that make it just really, really cool. They were somewhat different because in the past they were like either cutesy daisy besides the the Reaper Halloween skin. That's going to be by f I feel like by far that is the coolest skin or maybe the Witch Mercy skin from the Halloween events. Those were some of the best skins but for this one they were pretty cool. They were hardcore they weren't really cutesy daisy besides maybe the Diva and the May skin but of course they're like the two female heroes so they're not going to be looking so hardcore. I mean heck maybe Zarya could have gotten a hardcore skin but as terms of the skins I got to give them like at least a solid B maybe even an A. Like, like I said the Halloween skins they were really really dope but I feel like they gave a lot of skins to the right heroes in a sense the May skin they made up for it from the winter Wonderland skin nobody really complained I feel like not a lot of people complained about the skins that the heroes got but more or less complained about the lack of skins towards Hanzo towards Genji towards Widowmaker those are three heroes that are just lacking in the skin department they only have one a really epic skin besides the what is, what is it the other Genji skin that came with uh, by playing the other game I don't even remember everybody calls it the the weeb skin. Just wait. I'm sure they will get skins eventually. I mean, like I said, May didn't really get love for the skin department up until this event, so I'm sure there's something maybe uh, maybe Japanese related coming up or maybe French related that's coming up that can make events. I don't know, but I'm sure they will be getting skins soon enough, but in terms of the heroes that did get the skin, the Winstons, the Roadhogs, um, they looked really, really cool, really hardcore. Like I said, not really cutesy-daisy like the Winter Wonderland skin, but rightfully so because they're not like yeah well actually well Winston is pretty cute so I you gotta admit he can be a little cutesy daisy so move, <laughs> I'm getting off topic so moving on to the game mode this is something that uh, like for even me included a lot of people were complaining about and not a lot of people were like praising it as terms of lo the longevity or as terms of like time played on it because yeah capture the flag it is fun it is a cool game mode but a lot of people complain that you only see Bastion or you only see Symmetra even including me I made a video just talking about capture the rooster and in the video I talked about how you always see a, a Bastion, a Symmetra, a Torbjorn, it was just kind of not really a broken game mode because if you had an organized team you can totally capture uh, the flag but this is capture the rooster this isn't competitive at all so why would you want to go into an organized team to play capture the rooster when you could be putting more time into competitive you know what I mean so like yeah it is a fun game mode but if you're working as a team if you're working to get that flag but nobody really goes into capture the rooster wanting to work as a team you just want to capture the flag run back so yeah it is a fun game mode but there are some little loopholes that can make it to where nobody can capture a flag I mean if you have turrets just surrounding the the flag or whatever then yeah you're not really gonna be able to capture the flag so I don't know is it a broken game mode definitely not but it just 
it it was I don't know what the right word is. It's on the tip of my tongue. It just wasn't the greatest game mode, I guess, for lack of better words. Was it better than Mace Snowball? Don't you ever say it was better than Mace Snowball Offensive is the greatest game mode of all time. I'm just kidding. I know a lot of people hated that game mode. So I know it was a little bit better than Mace Snowball Offensive, but it wasn't better than Junkenstein's Revenge. And I didn't even get to play that game mode, but I know that that game mode was just probably one of the greatest game modes that came with an event for Overwatch. So I gotta give it like a C, maybe a D. It was just lacking. I don't know. It just I don't know. Let me know what you think about the game mode, because I'm a little torn on it. And for the Legion Tower we make, I mean, it was great. You had little lanterns everywhere. You had fireworks placed everywhere. It was really well done. It was the only map I think that was remade. I mean, with the Winter Wonderland, you had King's Row, you had Hanamura, and I think there was one more, but definitely those two. So there was only this one we made. I mean, like I said, it's not that big of a deal, but it looked definitely, it definitely looked cool, uh, especially for Capture the Rooster, how you're able to light the fireworks and whatnot. So I got to give it an A. It looks really cool, but it wasn't that... It's like getting an A in PE. Like, yeah, everyone gets an A in PE, pretty much. So, this event, it was a solid event. Just to summarize everything that went on, the skins the, in the skin department, they were awesome. The game mode, it's a hit or miss kind of thing. I would have loved to see another PvE kind of mode where you can just get four of your friends and go against robots, like in Junkenstein's Revenge. And the Hanamura remake, it was, it was, I mean, it's like an A in PE. So, I don't know. I would give this, like, a B. A solid B. Just because of the game modes, like, that's a big thing. And just because of the exploit, not really exploits, what am I trying trying to say it's pretty much the loopholes that you found in that game mode just made it i wouldn't say unplayable but just not really something you want to oh my god let me go and play capture the rooster Nah, it's not that kind of game mode. If you're going to be playing it competitively, then maybe it can be an awesome, fun game mode. But like I said, you have competitive already. So, I don't know. I would give it a solid B. Maybe a B- minus here and there. Maybe I'm being too harsh on it. Maybe I'm being too generous. I would like to know what you think about Year of the Rooster. It was a great event. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't bad. I'm not saying that. It was a really good event. And I can't wait to see what Blizzard does next. Because it seems like they're just getting better and better every single event. When it came from the Summer Games games all the way up to here man they've had a lot of awesome events a lot of different as terms of the skins as terms of the game mode they are very different very distinct in their own special way so that's that's kind of gonna be a hit or miss when it comes to how great the events will be but overall i think this is a pretty solid hit maybe a double maybe a triple but definitely a double i make a terrible metaphor so i'm just gonna end it here let me know what you think about year of the rooster events i love you guys thank you guys for watching more overwatch videos to come and bye